Ausfly and its control. In our earlier session, we have learnt about mosquito, and now let us learn about housefly and its control. Generally, we can find houseflies on uncovered food, which happens commonly in every house. The most common Indian housefly found on food in our houses is Musca nebulo. The body of the housefly has distinct parts: one, head; two, thorax; three, abdomen. Head. The head portion consists of two compound eyes. It smells the substance, even from a distance, by their antenna, which are small in size. It also consists of mouth parts, which are in the form of tubular proboscis. This help in sucking liquid from exposed food or from decaying organic matter a human and animal excreta. Thorax. The thorax portion consists of three pairs of legs. The legs consist of sharp claws and spines, which help to stick or hold objects. The fly consists of one pair of transparent wings, which are also called as front wings. The portion of the abdomen is soft and narrowly joined with the thorax. Now, let us learn about its feeding process. The housefly feeds on all types of organic food of both animal and plant origin. Generally, fly attracts to sweet food stuffs and rotten meat. When housefly sticks on the food, it sucks juicy portions from the food. In cases of some other food like sugar, it moistens the food with its saliva and thus takes liquid portion of food. In similar to other beings, it can vomit and regurgitate swallowed food. Now, let us learn about economic importance of housefly. Housefly also acts as natural scavengers by cleaning and consuming the leftover food. Apart from that, houseflies are also called as public enemy as it spreads numerous diseases like dysentery, typhoid and cholera, etc. Now, let us learn how it can spread diseases. When the housefly sits on filthy materials, due to its hairy sticky legs, the filthy particles get attached to the legs. And when same housefly sits on the food, it rubs its legs and over the body and it drops filth materials on food and thus it contaminates the food. Housefly also contaminates food with germs. When housefly sits on the food, it moistens food with its saliva. Or sometimes, or sometimes it vomits on the exposed food or regurgitates, which it has swallowed from dirty places. The housefly deposits its own excreta on food when it sits on exposed food. Housefly also directly transfers germs. For example, if housefly sits on the infected eyes of trachoma and when same sits on healthy person's eye, it transfers germs of trachoma from diseased to healthy one. Now, let us learn how we can control houseflies. Several methods have been in practice in the process of control of houseflies. One, elimination of breeding places. Disposing and removal of animal or human excreta at regular intervals. Thus, breeding of flies can be prevented. Two, spraying. All the breeding places around the houses should be sprayed with DDT and insecticides to prevent breeding. 3. Avoidance. Always proper care should be taken in covering foods. Never consume uncovered foods on streets and at home. Always 
care should be taken to avoid sitting of flies on the body and infant babies should be protected by baby umbrellas.